in the end of the video, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to stay with it for a big, big reason that I love, but I need to point it out those things. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk a little bit about the Kingsong S18. I was going to do the unboxing, but at this point it doesn't make any sense to do it because you have already seen everything but many of you guys are waiting to know at least what is my first impressions on the S18. So let's start by the build quality and I have to say that when I was taking out of the box I was like whoa it looks much better than Adam or others they were saying but since after you come much closer you start noticing that Adam and others they was right. So the plastics in opposites for example if I compare even with the 16X that the inner shell is rubbish but the out shell is super, super strong. And when you start hitting this, this is pure plastic, man. It's really, really low quality, okay? So in the 16X, it's just more on the top that you can feel that the plastic is more flimsy, but this is all over the place. Another thing just to point it out is here, I don't know if you guys can see there, but this is already coming apart and it was already coming apart out of the box so also they don't have put the amount of glue that it should be there another thing just to talk about these pads yes they are much bigger than the old ones but they are super uncomfortable so you just feel comfortable if your leg is basically bending in front so if you are like accelerating since you come back to a normal position you don't have comfort because this part it digs in on your leg from all the wheels that i have this is the most uncomfortable wheel that i received so basically people say Said that this was not thick enough and they decided to put bigger but they don't have done any ergonomics on this wheel for example if i compare with the v11 that in comfort is the most comfortable wheel that i tried until today this one is super super uncomfortable it feels like someone beats my legs like i've been in a fight and i've been riding for a few days and my legs they don't get used to that sensation so just to point it out another thing that i have to say is you can see that this wheel was made in a rush I said that already for many, many times to people that ask me. I believe that this wheel just came out like in the summer because the V11 was presented. So I don't think that the wheel was prepared to be out. Looking to the S18 is almost like looking to a gorgeous woman. You know that she's going to give you a lot of problems, but uh, you don't care and you get it. You can see by the changes that King Song is doing on this wheel that is not really a change they are basically trying to solve the issues that they didn't test out so the first one was basically the big big squares that you have to take out with a hammer it doesn't make sense this wheel costs around two thousand dollars I should not need to use a hammer to take it out and besides that it should come a paper on the top of the box saying that I need to do that the second one is hopefully and thank you very much my wheels to make me aware of it because I was not this cable that I didn't have change until now, but now I understand why sometimes when I hit a bigger pothole, I feel and I hear like a blah, blah. So basically what happened is this cable here is too thick. When the wheel is going up and down, the cable touch the sides here. After a while, you are basically destroying the cable there. So what you need to do is once again, grabbing a hammer and starting to beat this cable because uh, on beneath the rubber is metal and trying basically to change the shape of it and uh, it will stay more flash with the, the metal surface and supposedly you will not have a problem so that will be another thing that you need to do talking just a little bit more about this cable five months ago I was already saying about this one of the things that I was most concerned about the King Songs S18 was after seeing the video of Kuji it's quite dangerous to have the cables so exposed because if you have an accident or something and something cuts the wires it will not be the, the best experience in the world that they should have think a lot about the cables because of the suspension because they they could be damaged and they didn't think about it like you could see there the next one is related with these uh, pedals that you you can adjust up and down to take it out you need to take these four screws and you need to disassemble the pedal and the pedal have a screw here on the bottom that you need to take it out that screw is a very very tiny screw and I don't have it at home so I tried to remove it without removing the pedals I could disattach these four screws damaging slightly uh, here the grip tape after you have two screws on the sides 
here on the corners. And uh, once again, we can see the lack of quality on the screws because I have the same issue with the 16X. So the screw basically start to come apart. It didn't came off. And I really hate how sharp is these corners. You are going to start damaging this on the real environment where this wheel fits in a certain way. When we talk about the mudguard until now, it stays in place, but it really feels flimsy, okay? You can see that it's basically just attached in one place. And that's why many of you guys have already broke after a couple of kilometers, because if a stone hits here, it's going to break that support that you have on the middle with a screw. Let's talk about the pedals. And like you can expect from any wheel from King Song, they are really big, they are really comfortable, they are really grippy but it comes with the downsides that we are used to see on King Song. First of all, I believe that we'll start having some uh, noises coming from it. Another thing that I don't like is that you have this metal piece on the inside that basically makes the pedal stays in place. Another thing that you should be aware that helps a lot to adjust really, really easily to the S18 is how close these pedals are from the floor. I heard a lot of you guys saying that this rides like a 16X it's not true, it's completely different the experience riding. I really don't like the way that the 16X feels because you are really tall and what happens is when you are curving, at least with a CY tire, when you are curving, your leg stays too much on the bottom, so it's uncomfortable. And this is really, really easy to get used to because the pedals, they are very, very close to the floor. But what happened is you are going to damage them really, really easy. So just yesterday I hit the floor one time and I scratched the pedal already. And the paint, I have to say that is even worse than on the 16X. They are not going to look really nice for a long period of time. It's really easy to damage. Another thing is all this bottom part. It seems like plastic, also not really durable. So just to point it out, you should start breaking sooner or later. So let's talk about the backlight that you have on the S18. And like I said five months ago, I was not really convinced. Yeah. What you guys think about the, the S18, about the, the LEDs on the back? For me, that didn't really convince me. The thing is that, I... do you think you are visible enough at night? I think it's too small, it's not really bright, so it's not going to give you the visibility that I was expecting with a King Song, because that is simply amazing on the 16X. For me, from all the wheels that I have at home is the best from far really from far because you have all those leds and the second one the best one is the v11 another thing that i really really don't like on the s18 and is the worst wheel until today but on the 16x i really like the way that is done because of the design of it you know when the battery is below 50 percent is when the shape of the wheel it starts curving down and going in. On this one, supposedly, this light here, it gets smaller from the sides. It's not really visible, not really convinced with that. And when we talk about the tire, I have to say that it's better than the tire that you will find on the 16X. This continues to be a CY tire and this one is the H5102, but I don't understand why they didn't use here a CST tire. It's more than proof that it's one of the best tires that you have on the market. It was used on the Nikola is used on the V11 and is used on the MSP. So why not using that tire? Definitely is not a tire that you want to use when you go to make some off-roading. So when you go on the grass with this one, you can feel that you start losing the grip. And if you go on mud, forget it. It feels that you are in ice. Yeah, not the best decision when I think that this wheel is an off-roading wheel. So let's talk about the handle. And I have to say that that was the first moment that I started getting disappointed with the S18. It's one of my favorite handles that answer to us that the handles that we have on electric unicycle, they are normally really, really bad. But this is one of my three best handles. First place, 16X, second place, V11. And this one comes in third place, in my opinion, because it's really, really flimsy. But in the same time, because of the size of this wheel, because it's so compact, it's my favorite wheel. If you don't count on a very small in motion V8F because of the, the 4 kilos that you have on that wheel and when you try to put all the way down it's oh you see now i can't go down now it went down so sometimes it can get stuck it's really easy that for example if you have an accident it opens slightly because there is nothing that leaves this handle in place if you have an accident this can open slightly and you can damage the handle so just to point it out so let's talk about the front light and uh, i have to say that i have to disagree and agree with some of the comments. So first of all, 
talking about the front plastic is much much stronger than I imagined. If you think that is really really flimsy with other videos for example from my good friend Monsieur Frex, I don't think that is so flimsy but I also hate the design because this is a piece of plastic and after you have an opening on, on beneath and after you have the light so it means that all the dust is going to accumulate on beneath this piece of plastic. It's quite well protected, it goes inside the wheel, you have these rubbers here on the sides they are going to reduce if you hit with this wheel on the front. When we talk about the amount of light, you can have no lights, you can turn on and have the two dims, one, the other dim, or zero. Another thing that I like about it is how easy it is to reach the button. Like it happens with the V11, is on the top, on the 16X was really on the front and it was not really comfortable. So really easily you can be riding and pressing there and turning on the light. Another thing that I don't really understand, but also I saw a lot of persons complaining is this rubber. I don't see the, the complaints. I don't understand because it really stays in place, but I don't understand why you have only one door to charge your S18. The battery here, we already know is just 1,100 million powers. That we'll talk in a minute. Charger 2.5 amps, like we already know. But if you want, you can use a fast charging, but you already know also that you are going to reduce the life of your battery. So let's talk about the suspension on the S18 and I have to say to you guys that is a mix of sensations. It is like super boring because when you are using on the CT the battery on this is so small that I can go really really slow for a long time that I was not riding so so slow and I have to say to you guys that the sensation that I can take out of this wheel on open road is very similar than I can take with the Emotion V8F. This one is basically double the price. It's something that you have to have in consideration when we talk about joy riding a wheel. This wheel you can safely ride at 40 kilometers, 42, 44 max, okay? And I have the tilt back at 46. And another thing talking about the tilt back is super smooth. So something that before it was really, really bad is how hard was the tilt back on King Song and I hate it and it's super, super scary. Do I like the tilt back? I hate it, because in this one, it's really aggressive. So you are riding your wheel and you basically feel the wheel doing this. On this one is super, super smooth. This suspension, if it makes sense, is so slow that on the city, you almost don't feel it. What I'm saying with this is when you are riding with the V11, you definitely feel that you have a suspension compensating that butthole on the floor. So if it's small holes, you feel it and it's really enjoyable to have that sensation on beneath your feet. When you are on the city with this, you don't feel it. You feel it obviously that is reducing that there when you was passing with another wheel, it was quite noticeable, but because this suspension reacts slowly, I don't feel really the benefit. But this suspension is the main reason why I I'm thinking to stay with the wheel for a long period of time. And this is important to talk. This wheel is a niche wheel. It's not a wheel that you want as a main wheel, in my opinion, okay? You want this wheel to go off-road and enjoy off-road. And I have to say, it's the king of off-roading. I could reach 44 kilometers on this wheel, and I know because of the beepings, without the problem. I was flying, hitting all the holes, because if it's a big hole and a big change on the floor, because the wheel responds in a slower, way than the V11, I can definitely go super, super fast off-roading with this wheel. So the limitations of the wheel, you don't feel it so much. Using it on the city, it's really, really boring wheel. It's, it's definitely not enjoyable as the V11. It's not enjoyable as using an MSP, obviously. It's too short. And I will never recommend you to really push hard on this wheel because you have really, really big probabilities to have a cutoff with this wheel. This wheel, the S18, is impossible to be a powerful wheel because you, you continue to have the same motor that you had on the Kingston 16X with a smaller battery. And like we talked yesterday, Afez, it's impossible that they can have the same performance that you have on the 16X. Otherwise, you had already problems of shutdowns with the, the Kingston 16X. So they had to cut on the motor. Even if the motor is the same, the delivery is not the same. But if you try to ride like you ride the 16X, you are going to say hello to the floor much, much sooner then then later if it makes sense if you want to share your wheel with someone with a very different weight you can put the suspension for the person that normally use all the time the wheel and when someone else goes on top of it 
you just lock the suspension. Something that you are not able to do with the Emotion V11. My friend, for example, that normally goes to ride with me have 90 kilos. I have 71 kilos. So with this 20 kilos of difference, he's not able to ride with the set for my weight. Otherwise, it can damage the suspension. And I can't ride the V11 with the suspension set to his weight because I risk to be just throw off the wheel. The second thing that I love about this set of suspension is really, really easy to access and to just change the pressure there because you have the positive and negative chamber like straight away there to fill up and to take down. But also that is a disadvantage because when you need to do it, you need to put that square on the bottom. So it became a bit annoying because you need to take that with you and you risk to lose it. Another thing that I have already said, but is the potential that you have with this design. So you have the possibility to put here a much better shock from a DOV, from Fox or other big brands of shocks for bikes. And uh, the shock, by the way, if you want to swap, this is a 200 by 50 seven millimeters when we are searching for one you need with those dimensions like i said to you guys this wheel is an off-roading wheel in my honest opinion they've done the wrong decision one of them is the plastics the plastic should be much much stronger the sherman i don't think that it looks really really nice but it feels like a tank and it looks like a tank and that is the main objective and this wheel as an off-roading wheel should feels like that it should feels like that you can beat as much as you want and nothing is going to happen and the tires should be made for that specific type of environment it's like uh, if you are a cyclist but you don't use the right shoes or if you are a basketball player but you don't use basketball shoes you use football shoes also something that you want to consider about is this is ip54 so you should not be just dropping water on top of it but i have to say to you guys that when you look it looks really really scary to clean and you think that you are going to take hours but i have to say to you guys that it's quite open so i think it's quite easy to clean this wheel another thing that i really really hate is that adjustment on the back and here you can feel that the suspension is a cheap suspension because when you try to rotate for a slower or faster rebound first of all the fast rebound is too short in my opinion it could be a little bit faster besides that i have to say to you guys that is sometimes it's difficult to just rotate that part because of the position where it is if you have any questions about this wheel or the v11 or others feel free to comment on the comments below my name is marco this is matt peck if it's your first time don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one